Hello and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. This time, uh, we have some shenanigans going on and I just want to talk because we have plenty of trinities to fully explore and yeah, it's going to be a long, long journey. But this is Pinocchio. He is a dick. He, he has no other character trait in this game. This is probably the worst I've ever seen of Pinocchio. Usually Pinocchio in my opinion, is an annoying story, but this one is taken to an absolute extreme. If you don't know what Pinocchio is, it's a puppet that's trying to turn into a real boy, uh, and every time he lies, his nose grows. Now, there's different variations on the story, of course, but ultimately, I really hate the Pinocchio story. I understand the moral, but it's poorly written in every iteration. I haven't read a good one. I haven't seen a good one and Pinocchio in this game is incredibly annoying and I'm not going to be able to hide my bias because we will be seeing him off and on for a little bit in the game. Just to kind of be transparent here, I really hate this character. Just in every type of source material. So he's talking about the missing father Geppetto who uh, is his father. Uh, and basically, Pinocchio, being the spoiled brat he is, will only not lie when, of course, Jiminy is around. Great. But let's talk about Trinities. So there are plenty of Trinities throughout Traverse Town that I've already pointed out before. A lot of them lead to different areas. They have different money involved. They have different items. We're going to be collecting the four blue Trinities found in uh, Traverse Town, along with the red one that we haven't gotten yet. Uh, the one we just grabbed is in front of the cafe. This one's right in front of the world exit, so you shouldn't be able to miss these two. They're pretty easy uh, to find. The other two are kind of out of the way, but one of them is pretty easy to notice. And the other one, if you know where it's at, you know where it's at. Uh, the red trinity that's been bothering people I know for a fact is over here. It's in this alleyway. This leads to a treasure chest filled with Dalmatians, I believe. I don't actually remember exactly. One of these is Dalmish. Yeah, I think it's this one. Alright. Uh, can I? Nope, I can't. I kind of wanted to go into the alleyway to uh, grab some treasure chests I haven't yet. Uh, we have time. It's no big deal. I'm also gonna... I never opened this. Oh, I did open it for a postcard. Huh. Oh, it was up here that I didn't go. Okay, we'll have to do that later once we come back around. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, there's no heartless because we closed the uh, keyhole, of course, but we're gonna go in, I think, I don't want the green room, I want the red room. There's a treasure chest in here that I never grabbed. I think I pointed it out. It's a pretty stone, woo. Then we're gonna go to the alleyway. There's two treasure chests I've missed. Uh, one's all the way over here. Uh, let's go this way. It shouldn't be that long. Should be on the end right here. It's actually in a tricky spot if you look at it. Pretty stone. Thanks for wasting my time. I guess we'll keep those for uh, no reason because they don't do anything. And the last one is over here, of course. I'm sure people have noticed this. I hope it didn't bother you. Here's a potion. Very useful never now. With cure, potions are kind of dumb i know it's my fault for not grabbing uh this treasure chest a while ago but that's just how it is and now we're gonna go straight to the third district this is incredibly boring because there's no heartless to fight but we have a couple stops that will um will have some heartless so it's not complete uh boredom yet but behind this fountain over here in the corner is probably the most uh hidden point site blue trinity this is blue trinity number three for us uh i always label it as behind the fountain when i uh talked to people about it so i'll probably put it on screen behind the fountain in the third district in the corner the other one's at merlin's house which is where we will actually be leaving as well so let's go do it this way should be able to get through i'm gonna say this right now this is gonna be a very uh just 
search and find all the trinities that I've kind of glossed over so far. And the reason I'm doing it now is it's one part versus a little section in a video and it makes it easier on me to of course not have to stop and explain trinities every time. Uh, that's all we can do here. We could also go into the book but as of right now I do not want to do that. Uh, personal reasons. There's a tournament being held at the Coliseum which we'll get involved with next time but as of right now we're going to go to Wonderland. Because of course we have uh, two trinities here that we want to use well use and uh get the items from uh i actually probably should have grabbed these the first time because they're kind of by themselves and there's not a lot of trinities in wonderland uh we're gonna have some heartless here but let's see if we can actually avoid the early one i actually want to grab this one first yeah thank donald How are you not, like, dead? Okay, there we go. There we go. Nice tech. And this should be a kill. Again, nice spirit shard. We have to fight stuff, of course. Are we done here? There's a treasure chest that I can't grab. Um, didn't get the uh, multiple red nocturnes, but oh well. Should be able to blue trinity this. Here we are, this is number five. Overall, not too hard. I mean, they're trinities. They're very self-explanatory. All right, so we're gonna end up going this way. You saw the other one last time, well, earlier, slightly earlier. Uh, let's, I missed the one I was going for. There we go, that solves everything. Uh, we're gonna actually thunder right here to get a treasure chest to appear. There's another spot we can go and do that, but it's not really worth it. We'll end up going back there later for a different trinity than blue and red. But as of right now, we cannot access that trinity. So we're just going to do this one and basically leave Wonderland. Got a camping set, not really worth it, but that's our fault for not doing it earlier. Um... I really need to state this clearly. The blue trinities are useless no matter what time you actually get them. There's only one blue trinity that actually matters early. And that's maybe the money one. And that's if you're really bad at the game. And you need potions everywhere. So we're going to Deep Jungle and not Olympus Coliseum. Because I want to end the video on Olympus Coliseum. So we can jump straight into the tournament next time. But Deep Jungle, uh, we're actually going to go tunnel because we need to go to the high platform found within it's actually like right here isn't it no it's the next one the climbing trees if you remember yeah this is also very annoying so one we're gonna have to kind of cheat here because there's almost infinite spawning power wilds and so what we're gonna do is we're gonna trick the game into thinking we are in fact okay okay now come on there we go trinity uh the other one has spawned oh it didn't count nice we got in one false swoop because normally if you're in combat you cannot do trinity or uh open a treasure chest but of course i'm not here to fight i just want the blue trinity uh Okay, now let's make our way back to main camp. I think we might have to fight some power wilds, maybe. Uh, we'll see. Yep. Really, Goofy? You're a douche. How can we not knock these guys out? Goofy. Goofy. Dude. I wish my thunder was higher. Alright, there's some money. And Power Wild defeated. Can we please just grab this? Cool. And this is the last Trinity found in Deep Jungle. This is number 8. Just for your information. Uh, of course, the there's plenty of Dalmatians found in a lot of these Trinity uh, treasure chests. So, if you're going for all the uh, Dalmatians, 
you definitely have to do this. All right, to the Coliseum. This is where we're gonna stop. There are two blue trinities found here. Uh, kind of like Wonderland and Deep Jungle. They all share this, two blue trinities. All right, Coliseum Gates. So, whoa, thank you. Uh, before we do that, I do want to point out, because we're going to be doing this next time, you can actually check the Phil Cup's entrance by, uh, of course, going up, up on these banners and clicking examine on them. So you can see we're Sora, Donald, and Goofy, but you can actually check what Heartless are, are in all of these. And if you actually look very closely at these, and if you're not like me and can speed read, or just know what's in the tournament, uh, we will be fighting all the body parts of the oh crap guard armor there we go i was thinking of opposite armor which we fought last time and treasure chest this is a piece of crap if i remember correctly no mithril shard not bad the other one's dalmatians though over here this is of course number 10 and this will be the last one for the video i understand it was kind of meh because i could have done these earlier but as of right now everything is caught up we will be doing the Coliseum next time. 15 minutes of pure combat, which will hopefully make up for the less than stellar combat here. But if you want to start the Coliseum, all you have to do is click this. You know the rules, fill cup, and you can, of course, enter the Coliseum, gain experience, and gain the reward at the end of it. So that's what we'll be doing next time. So thank you for making it through the end of this video. I understand this one was a little rough because blue trinities duh but uh thank you make sure you subscribe if you want to see more kingdom hearts content and of course have a nice day and hopefully i'll see you next time till then